Warner Bros. continues to struggle with the DC Cinematic Universe while Marvel continues to smash long balls over the fans from the wheelhouse at the movie theater. No, we are not talking about problems with money since Batman v Superman still made a significant amount of money despite the fact that the movie did not meet expectations in terms of box office receipts. After all, we all know well that people will always take a look-see and fill cinema seats regardless of how horrible the offering could be. However, if the staff at Warner Bros. is sick and tired of taking shots from prior stars of their films, for example Ryan Reynolds in Deadpool, they should probably remove the nonsense from their movies. Christopher Nolan and his three films based on Batman became the benchmark for comic book movies for a decade thanks to their success. Now they are becoming one step closer to becoming a running joke in the sector. So keep watching, because DC's cinematic universe is in trouble, and here are some fixes that will help DC get better. Maintain a consistency throughout all of your films. Where do we stand with regard to the DC cinematic world at this point? A few years after the events of Dark Knight Rises, in the twilight of the Zack Snyder era, which includes a pair of forgettable Superman films, and in the midst of Zack Snyder's preparations for the launch of the Justice League, in addition to a standalone Batman film written by the actor who portrays Batman, and of course, Wonder Woman. Will any of them be able to offer anything that lives up to the bar that Christopher Nolan has set? Would it be too much to expect that at the very least we obtain a time frame that is consistent with what was presented in the Nolan trilogy? It's a regardless matter how you feel about Christopher Nolan, the fact remains that his contributions to the cinema industry are unrivaled. CG paint will never be able to match to the real special effects that are used in Nolan's films, no matter how much Marvel fanboys and fangirls fight to the contrary. DC has to have all of its writers working on the same feature at the same time, or at least in the same room, for all of the forthcoming features. Take, for instance, the fact that Ben Affleck is now working on the original narrative for his next Batman movie. Put an end to the pretense that something is difficult. To continue in the same spirit as our prior piece, why does it feel like DC is making this entire thing look like it's going to be such a struggle? In all honesty, doing this shouldn't be difficult at all. Because of the presence of decades worth of vintage comic books, all of the storylines are already written down. All that DC has to do is pick what mood they want to convey, and then construct a script based on those stories. Instead, DC is putting an excessive amount of effort into developing fresh plot twists that nobody has asked for, and the consequences speak for themselves. Every single motion picture does not need to make an effort to reinvent the wheel. Or, for example, if excessively lengthy and drawn-out films are the direction DC is heading, then why not entice Michael Bay away from his Transformers contract at Paramount and give him the opportunity to start applying his overglossing philosophy to Superman? We've said it before, but it bears repeating. The tales already exist. All the filmmakers need to do is tell them. We don't want to live in the past, but when a standard has been established, as it has with the comics, it has to be fulfilled, and the most recent DC movies aren't even coming close to meeting that level. Ditch Zack Snyder this may come out as callous, but it is not intended to be a personal attack on Zack Snyder. Clearly, the person has put in a lot of hard work to get where he is, yet there seems to be something lacking in his sense of direction. It is a matter of style taking precedence over content, a pattern that can be seen playing out in each and every movie that he has ever directed. Fans of the movie 300 were drawn in by an appearance that they hadn't seen before. Yet, is that alone enough to put a person on a pedestal? Why not get M. Night Shyamalan to helm Wonder Woman if that's the case? After all, he previously had a singular sense of fashion. Zack Snyder must resign, no matter how you look at the situation. Even after enlisting Christopher Nolan's assistance as a mentor, the individual was unable to create a work of art that had the same amount of soul as Nolan's Batman trilogy. The best can be said about Man of Steel that it was meh, while Batman v Superman was a letdown for many different reasons. And now he's directing both films based on the Justice League? Given the current state of affairs, DC need to simply buy him out and move on. Provide a narrative that will captivate the audience. It's hardly a superhero movie if there aren't any cool action moments, and a superhero movie without exciting action sequences is like apple pie without the ice cream topping. On the other hand, it seems as if DC movies are constructed around the concept of numerous action sequences and fights between characters, rather than an intriguing storyline that builds up to the moment, and this won't cut it. This is the primary issue with both Man of Steel and Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. When one watches such movies, one gets the impression that the story storyline is constructed around the question how are we going to enable him or them to do battle, rather than having a structure that organically allows those fights to occur. And if it is so clear to a member of the audience, then it must have been evident to the author as well. 
Given what we've seen on screen up to this point, it's tough to deny that this is something we should be thinking about when watching the show. However, we do hope that the authors are not approaching the plot with this idea in mind. Superhero stories aren't only about the action, rather, they focus more on how the protagonist responds to a villain or a nemesis, which helps to create a storyline that pulls us more into the universe. DC has to begin the production of the next set of movies with a storyline and then work backwards to add in the action sequences. Introduce new characters methodically into the DC Extended Universe. The news that Warner Bros. is developing a Wonder Twins movie exemplifies every problem that existed under the previous administration there. Fans think the twins should get more recognition for their accomplishments, but not in a movie of their own. There are other methods to deal with characters who are peripheral or less well-recognized, even if it involves testing the waters by featuring them in other projects via minor parts or cameos. Even if it's not possible for these lesser-known heroes to achieve the same level of fame as the Guardians of the Galaxy, this is a gamble that can only be taken once the universe has been created. When there have been a string of significant successes in succession, it is much simpler to experiment with something brand new. In this manner, if it turns out to be unsuccessful, fewer people will be outraged about it. Kick Ben Affleck Ben Affleck has more ability on his pinky finger than the majority of people have in their whole body, which begs the question, why does he have such a huge reputation for being such a douche? What part of this does this person not understand? Does he have writing and directing skills? Without a shadow of a doubt, yes. But when the weight of had to make everyone love me again presses down on his shoulders, will he push himself too far in an effort to achieve his goal? We can't help but get the impression that this could really be the situation. If another Batman picture turns out to be a failure, Warner Bros. and DC should start planning for the future. Perhaps he will disprove this writer's predictions, and if he does, that would be fantastic, since a good Batman movie is exactly what the patient needs. After all, do you recall what took place the last time someone came dangerously close to putting an end to the franchise? Franchise? We are looking in your direction, Mr. Joel Schumacher. The truly unfortunate thing is that Christopher Nolan could definitely be persuaded to create another Batman movie, and there's a good chance that it would do even better at the box office. Make the DC Universe better. At the very least, we should give credit to Warner Bros. and DC Entertainment for making an effort. After all, they are working at an almost breakneck speed to develop the Justice League universe. It will be interesting to see how they adapt The Flash into a feature film format, assuming they even succeed in doing so, considering the issues that are currently plaguing the production. We are aware that the purpose of these films is to make money, and they do so for reasons other than just filling theater seats. In addition to that, they need to sell marketing items such as apparel, video games, toys and any number of other potential products. But what if it winds up being about something outside just that? I won't bring up the Christopher Nolan subject again, but maybe Warner Bros. and DC could adopt that criteria. In the case of the Nolan trilogy, the films weren't just made to bring people into the theaters. Rather, they were made with the intention of advancing the art and science of filmmaking, as well as immersing viewers more deeply than ever before in the world of of Batman. Merchandising is here to stay, but just because you're doing it doesn't mean you can't also produce truly excellent films at the same time. Put an end to your attempts to compete with Marvel. At this point, DC is just not going to be able to compete with Mickey Mouse and Marvel's combined powers in terms of the amount of things that they provide. The Avengers series, along with the individual and group efforts of the characters included within it, dominates the landscape of comic book movies. This includes both standalone and team-up films. The Marvel films are generally of a high quality, yet there is something still missing from them. More often than not, they prioritize aesthetics over content. The premise that quality should take precedence above everything else is the point at which DC might, and should, differentiate itself from Marvel as well as the basis around which they should create their films. Movies that start off with amazing narrative and continue to relentlessly pursue a single objective until the very end. DC has to start asking questions such as, will this still be relevant in 25 years, or will people laugh at it the way they did with Superman 4 The Quest for Peace? If DC intends to continue competing in this industry, the company simply cannot allow itself to produce subpar films. It cannot be emphasized enough that a standard has been established, and at this point, they are responsible for doing all in their power to not just achieve, but also surpass that level. Can the DC Cinematic Universe be repaired within two years? Please let us know in the comments below. Click the like button if you'd like to see more videos just like the one you're watching now. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll be waiting for you in the next video.